Hello and welcome to the 12 Days of Education. It's that time of the year, the time to give, the time to love, and the time to support education. I'm Joe Dexter. Glad to have you here for Rockingham County Education Foundation's second annual 12 Days of Christmas. It's day one. It's time to celebrate the great things that are happening, the initiatives, and all of the great changes that are being made in students' lives Thanks to those in our community. And we can support by texting EDUCATE to 24365. That's EDUCATE to 24365. So far, 19 donations, $4,000 donated towards our $10,000 goal. You can help out by texting EDUCATE to 24365. We'll provide some details more coming up here on day one of the 12 days of education. Coming up in just a bit, we'll talk with Executive Director Jenny Edwards about what's going on at the Education Foundation and the things that are helping our community and how important it is to help these students with the College Advising Corps. We'll also be joined with Alexis Killen, who is at McMichael High School as a counselor through the program to get a better understanding of just how important it is to help our students and our seniors as they make that bridge to the next step in their lives. But first, let's wrap up and take a look 
at what is College Advising Corps? The College Advising Corps aims to help low-income, first-generation, and underrepresented North Carolina high school students attend a college that will serve them well by placing a recent UNC graduate as college advisors in public schools throughout the state. And we are very fortunate to have a strong local impact as college advisors provide one-on-one -on -one assistance to high school seniors in navigating the complex process of preparing for the SAT and making applications to two year and four year programs. We're lucky to have an advisor in every single high school here in our community. Since 2014, more than 2,000 Rockingham County students report submitting at least one college application and more than 30 million in scholarships have been offered to seniors since 2013 through that's a $450 return for every $1 invested in the program. And Rockingham County seniors have access to one-on-one -on -one personal help from a near-peer advisor who has just walked through their path and knows the obstacles to getting into college and helps students find their way. Last academic year alone, the College Advising Corps reached 90% of Rockingham County High School seniors and helped them secure $8 million in offered scholarships. That's $8 million in offered scholarships. You can help by texting EDUCATE to 24365. That's EDUCATE to 24365. Not only are you helping our seniors today and the other great initiatives of the Rockingham County Education Foundation, we're giving stuff away. It's 12 days of education. We, we don't just talk about education. We've got great people supporting us to help you for helping us. Today's giveaway is two pounds of coffee beans and a hand-thrown mug made by a North Carolina potter. Enjoy the holiday season with fresh organic whole bean coffee and a beautiful handmade mug. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is enter the 12 days of education giveaway. Text EDUCATE to 24365 and support the Education Foundation. We have so many great prizes. Every single day, we'll be giving away something new, something great. And we'll be doing a grand prize on the 12th day of education, a beach trip, a weekend stay in the lovely oceanfront Holt condo on Caswell Beach. Does it get better than that? I mean, are you texting EDUCATE yet? Are you texting that to 24365? Are you texting that? I hope you are, because there are so many great things that we'll be giving away this week. And to talk about it, we are now joined with Jenny Edwards of the Rockingham County Education Foundation, who discusses what is going on in the Education Foundation. Jenny, you're busy. You're keeping busy. We're doing great stuff, Joe. We've got so much going on. Uh, we're keeping up our flagship program, which is the College Advising Corps. But we've also added some new programs in the past year. So we're reaching more students ever than before. It's It's been really great. We're, we're moving into 2022 with a lot of energy. Well, the whole world is moving into 2022 with a different outlook, right? It's one of those things where we've all had to make adjustments, no matter what you're doing individually, professionally, in your regular life. How are some of those adjustments been at Rockingham County Education Foundation in finding things that can help our students, our teachers, and those that are impacted in our community? One thing that we noticed is that students are, um, they, they really need more time outside these days. They need access to fresh air. They need more access to nature-based learning. So we've picked up a brand new initiative called Trails K-12. And the goal there is to create an outdoor learning space, uh, specifically a trail for every school that would like to have one. So we completed the first trail in May of this year, and we have two more underway right now. Um, already, these, the trails are getting a lot of use. It's almost like at the process of building them, the students are right behind us you know, using the trail <laughs> immediately. Uh, we've 640 students so far have been on trails uh, this year. It's, it's great because it gets them outside. You know, they're, they're not cooped up. Uh, they have chance to learn all sorts of things, math, literature, you know, just the whole curriculum is possible there on the trail while they're moving. You know, they're really um, they're really linear classrooms is how we're thinking of them. I think another adjustment, too, is using the tools that we have to in order to connect with now being able to connect the way we were used to be. One way that I know that you guys have worked with that is working with Piedmont Instrument Classes for Kids and the things that are going on there. Oh, you bet. This is a tremendous program. It's really the um, the brainchild of Louise Price. She is uh, well known in the community, loved by a lot of people. For years and years and years, uh, the Piedmont Folk Legacies hosted the Charlie Poole Festival. 
And Louise said, you know what? I want to swim upstream. I want to get to the young people uh, that are in school and give them access to guitar, fiddle, and banjo lessons. We thought it was a great idea. So we jumped on board with her and uh, we're, we're a full partner with her in that. And it's um, Piedmont, full, uh, Piedmont Instrument Classes for Kids. I think we're up to 40 students this year. Wow. Yeah, it's it's uh, no child is turned away for inability to pay and they receive a loaner instrument. So they have an instrument to use for the whole time that they're in the class. That's that's wonderful. And that's what it's all about is finding the new ways and the important ways that have been so paramount for the Education Foundation throughout the years, such as the College Advising Corps is continuing to down our focus on the things that really matter and putting all of our efforts in that right because at the end of the day as we all know we only got a short amount of time every single day so the ones that have the most impact is where the focus is and and that's the key because the focus goes right back into those students when you talk about pick when you talk about the advising core in different ways at different levels at different ages those are all impacting those students every single day that they take a part in those Oh, you bet. They uh, Not only are they impacting them, but they are making measurable improvements in students' lives. The College Advising Corps is our flagship program. It's the reason that the Rockingham County Education Foundation was formed, and it helps so many first-generation students find their way into college. It's you know, I, I went back to school some time ago and it, it was not nearly as complicated as it is now. And, you know, it can be it can be very confusing for students. And students who have, um, you know, don't have parents or grandparents who also went to school might not be able to imagine, you know, how do you do that? How do you make that happen? How, how do you find your way to college? And that's, well, that's a, yeah, that's what the College Advising Corps is all about. We're going to talk more about the College Advising Corps coming up here in just a second. Throughout the week, we'll touch on the great initiatives of the Rockingham County Education Foundation and how you can help. You can support College Advising Corps today by texting EDUCATE to 24365. That's EDUCATE to 24365. We're at 4000 of our $10,000 goal, and we could definitely use your help and really appreciate your support. And also, we'll be giving away... Great gifts every single day, part of the 12 days of education. Today, we'll be giving away that two pounds of coffee in that hand thrown mug. Jenny, I know. Do you guys, let me see for a second before I, I welcome in Alexis. Is there a golden teapot down there? Is, there is. Yes, you might remember this from last year. Oh, is, yeah, there it is. The gift that keeps on giving. All of the entries are right in here. And at the end of the show, we will draw out a name for a winner. And we're going to do that every day for the next 12 days. Joe and I will be here at 3.30 to do this. And if you win, your name goes back in the pot. You could win again. So once you enter into the drawing, you're entered for every single one for the next 12 days. There you go. We'll be giving away a beach trip as well, a condo stay at Caswell Beach. We've got so many other great gifts that we'll get to throughout the week as well. But I want to welcome in from the College Advising Corps and McMichael High School, Alexis Killen joins us. Alexis, how are you doing? Hey, Joe. Hey, Jenny. I'm doing well. How are you guys? Good. Glad to have you. We're going to let Jenny go for just a minute. We'll bring you back, Jenny, when the pot is ready, nice and warm and ready to be picked. All right. You bet. Alexis, tell us about what's going on at McMichael High School and some of the things that you're seeing from your students and a little bit about the College Advising Corps and how that's impacting the school. Yeah, of course. So I'm a first year advisor and I just started at McMichael High School mid-August. So since then, we've had a wild year. Um, you know, just the kids being back in person, there's a whole new type of energy within the school system, I think. Um, we're all really excited to collaborate with each other and just interact and engage as friends, but also um, as a mentor. So this past year, uh, we've been really focused on making some data-driven decisions. Uh, like coming out of COVID, we our advisors were trained to kind of look at the metrics that we were meeting last year. And it was a difficult year advising virtually. And this year, I really hit the ground running. It really informed from the last advisor about how to best meet all of the kids. So my number one goal this year is to meet one-on-one -on -one with all of our graduating seniors, whether or not they're traditionally college bound. And I think that's the most impactful thing I've been able to do so far. I've met with about 70% of all of my seniors and had 
a 15 to 30 minute conversation to get to know them all um, individually as a person, as a student, and as a future society member. So it's been really great uh, as far as like unique initiatives. I've had a few field trips thanks to the Rockingham Ed Education Foundation. We visited RCC and we're going to be visiting RCC again on this Tuesday. So um, just really great things that we weren't able to do these past few years because of the pandemic um, and just getting outside of the school and being able to see what college or like the future holds for all of our students. You know, I think one thing that gets kind of lost in the wind is the advising game is a single game. We look at uh, college advising a lot of times through the analytical scope, 90% this, 85% this. But really the major impact for you, I would imagine, is the individual moments that you have with students to be able to give them that little bridge that they need, that little encouragement that they need, or even if it's just lending them that one little advice that gets them on the way to where they wanted to go or understanding better where they wanted to go. Absolutely. Uh, like you said earlier, the College Advising Corps operates in this near peer model. So I just graduated college this past May and being so close in age with them really helps me empathize and have some of those kind of uncomfortable conversations about the future from a place of no judgment and a place of empathy, really. So I was a first generation college student and actually the first like woman in my family to graduate high school. So Wow. Being able to talk to them about like some of the more personal challenges or like the doubt that they face within themselves is really special. And I think a lot of the older staff members don't get to have those types of candid conversations that we do. How much is understanding that they can get over that hump being somebody that is closer to their age or somebody that understands what they're going through at this moment a little bit better? I think that must play a major role in it. Uh, advising we oftentimes have that advisement of our parents. We have the advisement of our grandparents. But when you can hear from somebody that just went through it, that understands it, and not only just went through it, but came out on top after going through it, can definitely uplift. How much do you use your college experience to share with those that you're advising? Oh, I use it every single day. And I think that is the part that really helps kids connect with me, but also really see themselves in my shoes I talk really openly about how I paid for college and like ways that I was able to save money, ways that I was able to connect with professors, friends, and just mistakes that I've made too. And I don't really hide the harder parts about college, like moving away from my parents or living in a different city alone. I just really talk openly about the good and the bad, which I think helps students be less afraid about asking questions and um, just believing in themselves more what are you learning about the uh, student body at dalton mcmichael high school it's a unique yeah. bunch isn't it a good bunch the best bunch i love them uh but i'm definitely seeing that they are a little bit doubtful i i came from a community really similar to mcmichael's community of mayodan i'm from johnston county north carolina so right outside of raleigh but a very rural small town and i also went to a relatively small high school and I'm kind of seeing that a lot of them are nervous, you know, like nervous about leaving a town that looks like theirs because a lot of our college towns in North Carolina are bigger in population. And coming from a small school where everybody knows each other, where everybody's family can be one of the most intimidating steps, I think, um, going somewhere where you just, you don't know anybody. So being able to relate to them on that level I think is really special to them because I went to Chapel Hill which is like 40,000 students and came from a town that was about 2,000 so yeah it definitely brought, provides some comfort I'm sure and uh, it's uh, it's that's a big part of it I think a big part of it too I would imagine for you is helping them understand the students that you deal with and work with that there's a opportunity for you even if you don't think there is right like there's different avenues for different people. There's different lanes for different folks, for different expertises, for different ways you want to go. However you want to handle your next education step, there is a step. And I think sometimes we forget that. Yeah, absolutely. I actually had a non-traditional path to college as well. I went to community college before Carolina while I was in high school. So I've kind of had 
a good time breaking down that stigma that community college kind of has and telling kids that technical degrees are really important. Community college is really important, especially Rockingham Community College. It's just so well built up and so incredible at placing students um, in careers and jobs and places that are well needed. So we've had a lot of conversations about the different paths to the future and not all of those can consist of college, but I've been really well trained and able to guide conversations around entering the workforce and entering the military. And I think that those are just as valuable as a four-year university. Alexis Killen joins us. She's part of the Carolina Advising Corps and at Dalton McMichael High School here in our own community. You can help support what she's doing and all the other advisors in our community at every single high school by texting EDUCATE to 24365. That's EDUCATE to 24365. Thank you so much to our donors thus far. 19 donations, $4,000 raised towards our $10,000 goal. We sincerely appreciate you and what you're doing for your community and the future of your community by supporting the Carolina Advising Corps right here in our own hometowns. Alexis, one question that I have for you is when you look at what's next for students and you're trying to map and help them out, I guess what advice would you give to students and parents as they start to make that next step as we head into that senior season? It's going to be here sooner than later. It's probably already here for some of the major deadlines and such. Yeah, I think the best piece of advice I can give is to just go in strong. And by that, I mean, is just maximize your opportunity. I tell kids not to sell themselves short. You know, when you're thinking about your future, it can be really daunting to feel like you have to make a decision right this second. But reality, we're not going to be making any big decisions until spring. So during this semester, or during this season, I think it's important to apply to as many places as you can, apply to as many scholarships as you can, as many programs that interest you, and just maximize anything you can. And when it comes time to make those decisions, I can help guide them and we can help make a decision that makes the most sense for you. But in this moment, don't shy away from opportunity. Don't sell yourself short and really just push yourself to apply to what interests you. You know, that's a very good point because I know when I was that age, you almost try to pigeonhole yourself into something you think you can do instead of looking at all of the options at what could be and what you could accomplish because you have the skill set to do so. Yeah, exactly. And I think it's really good to know what you're interested in and really admirable because I don't think I knew what I wanted to do when I was in high school. But like, I think the best advice I can give is to just apply to everything that you can and don't don't put yourself into a box quite yet because I think everybody does that for you in the future. So right now, and believe in what you care about and don't limit it. Same for money, same for scholarships. Right. Don't don't compare yourself to the past winners. You know, I think if Miss Killen advises you to apply somewhere, then she's pretty sure that you qualify and that you are a good candidate. Thank you for joining us, Alexis Killen, joining us of the College Advising Corps group at McMichael High School helping our community. Thank you for what you do, Alexis, and thank you for taking the time this beautiful Sunday to join us on the 12 Days of Education. Yeah, thank you so much, Joe. It was great to meet you and great what you guys are doing. Thanks for having me. She's Alexis Killian and you can Killian and you can hear what she's been doing helping our students in the College Advising Corps. You can help by texting EDUCATE to 24365. That's EDUCATE to 24365 as we look to fully fund that program and the great other initiatives with the Rockingham County Education Foundation. It's the 12 days of education. We've got 12 giveaways to do all throughout these 12 days, every single day. And all you have to do to enter it's simple. Text EDUCATE to 24365 or head to the website that's linked below in the comments section and you can donate and also become part of this giveaway. You don't have to donate to be part of it. We would appreciate your support, but if you'd like to also be part of this without donating, you can enter by emailing Jenny at helprockinghamstudents.org. As we welcome in Jenny, Jenny Edwards, the executive director, welcome back. Is the teapot ready? Are we ready to draw this giveaway for two pounds of beautiful coffee beans? We are. Should I check and see if we had any last minute donations come in? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we're talking with Alexis. Okay, so we're going to do a quick check here. Isn't Alexis great? Oh, yeah. 
She, um, she, oh, Andrea Dexter. Okay. We got, <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have to add Andrea. I don't know who that is. Do you know who that you is? You don't know her? Hold on. Let me get a little bit. You think I would be ready? Andrea, you're amazing. Thank you. We're going to get you in here right now. Now, I didn't stop to check to see how she wanted her donation used. Let me go look at that real quick, quickly. Not real quick, quickly. Let's see. Meanwhile, don't forget to text EDUCATE to 24365. Be like Andrea. Get entered into these wonderful giveaways every single day, and your money goes right back into our community fully in supporting the initiatives of the Rockingham County Education Foundation. So make sure you Joe. text EDUCATE to 24365. Joe. Andrea get donated to support the Trails K-12 program. Awesome. awesome. Yes. Yes. No kidding. But, you know, no matter what you support, it's all going to go directly to help students. And if you didn't see your name pop up during the conversation with Joe and Alexis, be assured your name is in this teapot. Everybody is in there. So Andrea is going in now. I always thought that that pot just automatically churned up the names it's set that beautiful pot it, that would be so handy but it's it's i actually have to get out my um my little exacto knife and you know i create <laughs> this little cardboard entry i mean it's very you know, we're, we're taking good care of our donors here <laughs> and like joe said you don't have to donate to enter you know just email me and we'll get your name in there okay so are we ready all right not gonna look Keep it honest here. Okay, I have one. It Okay, so this is number one. Uh, it's a number because this is someone who donated anonymously. She did not want her name uh, on air. She donated very generously. You know, so she didn't want her name. But number one, you know who you are because you've been emailed with your number. And number I'll, one in my heart. <laughs> that's right. Number one in our heart. And I will um, email you and... Uh, We'll, we'll get that coffee and that mug to you. And thank you so much for your donation. Well, Jenny, do you want to preview and tell everybody who will be on tomorrow? Oh, Joe, <laughs> do you have the list? I do. Ooh. Our friend uh, Mara O'Neill will be joining us oh, tomorrow. Mar oh, wonderful. Yeah. Mara, Mara's terrific. Uh, Mara, uh, she is the interim director for the uh, Environmental Development and Planning Program at RCC. And she and Alexis teamed up to do a campus visit with about 19 students a couple of weeks ago. They went out and specifically toured that program. They took a hike on the trails at RCC. If you haven't done that and you enjoy trails, RCC is a treasure. They have about, I think, three miles of trails out there. Wooded Trails is really, really beautiful. Awesome. Well, we look forward to hearing tomorrow, day two of the 12 Days of Education. Thanks to Alexis for joining us here today. And thank you for supporting during the 12 Days of Education, the Rockingham County Education Foundation. What we do in this community, we could not do without your support, whether it be financially and, and all the other support that you provide us in what we do. It, it, it's amazing what Rockingham County is all about. And you are about our students, our teachers in our schools and we love you to death that's why we do this 12 days of education to give back to you and to also make sure that our students are getting the full support that they deserve i couldn't thank you enough on behalf of jenny day one is in the books on behalf of alexis i want to thank you for joining us here on the rockingham county education foundation 12 days of education day two tomorrow at 3 30 we'll see you later <laughs>